Yeah, yeah. Abel, get on this side. So you can. I just need to kind of. No, because you need to record. Leave that hurt because you need to. I know what you need to do. You need to record with your phone. All right, we're ready. Wait a minute. Okay, I know. Let me just a little bit. Let me Let me see you just a little bit more. Okay, good. Let's go. Okay, All right, you ready? Okay. 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 Thank you so much for everyone being here today. Today, my name is Representative Erica Thomas and I represent District 39. And today we are joined by members of the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus. And we also are joined by Mama Campbell and her astound attorney that is here with us today by her side. I am very disheartened that a 65 year old woman was treated at this level of disrespect. Mm. Today, we see the treatment of our se senior citizens is at a quandary in our state. We are here to talk about Mama Campbell, a mother and a grandmother to our community that was just trying to make an honest living as a Lyft driver. Mama Campbell just politely declined to sign a ticket that stated that she was changing lanes that was later dismissed by a judge. After being in the room with this gracious woman in less than five minutes, you could see the amazing character of Mama Campbell that would not warrant a police officer to react in such a manner. And the, all that Mama Campbell wants is for this police officer to publicly apologize and to apologize to his parents for acting in such an indecent manner. When you look at that night and when you watch that 17 minute video of the police officer cursing at the 65 year old Mama Campbell not only was she treated unfairly, but also the lift passenger was treated unfairly. When she had to sit and watch all of this happening, and then they told her to get out of the car and walk to work. If we are the number one state to do business, then we need to match that in how we treat our citizens. Yes. Mm -hmm. We will be looking at the ways that our citizens are treated in Alpharetta and across the state of Georgia. We need to call upon the policies of the police in Alpharetta, Georgia to have better policies and treatments of our citizens and to be mindful of our senior citizens conditions. Yeah. This lady has hypertension and diabetes. And when she was transported to the Alpharetta jail, mm, she was not provided with insulin. And her blood pressure shot up to two 40 over 190 and at her age she could have been into an induced coma mm. and then she was transported to another jail mm. and they still did not give her her insulin mm. Mm -hmm. so this lady was mistreated all the way from when she was pulled over to when she was transported from one jail to another. We are now reviewing the Georgia Code 
40-13-2.1 to see whether or not Mama Campbell was even legally required to sign that ticket. And we are here today as representatives to let the people know that we do not condone this type of behavior in our state. And we will not stand for police officers to treat senior citizens like Mama Campbell in this way. And yes, we know that this police officer resigned a few minutes ago, but that is not enough. Now we have Representative Sandra Scott, who is the vice chair of the Black Caucus for a statement. This incident and the way that Mama Campbell was treated was undeniably wrong. And we are here today to stand for justice. In no way, in no way will we allow the indecency of this officer to be swept under the rug. He needs to be reprimanded to the fullest extent of the law. And now we will have Representative Renita Shannon. Thank you all for being here. I'm State Representative Renita Shannon. I represent Georgia House District 84. It's unfortunate that we have to be here today to talk about this incident. This incident is completely unacceptable any way you look at it. We all saw the tape and we know that this is about the dignity of Miss Campbell. Uh, yeah. This is not an yeah. issue of missing legislation. This is not an issue of poor training. This is an issue of the officer's character. Mm -hmm. Officers have to realize that when they pull folks over, you don't know what health condition they may be in. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they are currently experiencing. And we all know that officers have the authority to use discretion. But we continue to see that the discretion to escalate violence is continually used against our community and folks who look like myself. And so to the officers who pushed and pulled Mrs. Campbell, to the officers who yelled in her face profanities, I would ask you this, is that how you would treat your grandmother? Mm. Then don't come to our communities and treat our grandmothers that way. Mm. Thank you. And now we'll have some words from Ms. Campbell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to thank everybody that has come here today. I want to thank everyone from what I understand that have been viewing the situation over the media and over the social medias and have expressed horror at what occurred. I want to say this, that if nothing else comes from this, I want justice to occur. Mm. True justice with a capital J. Mm. Mm. Because over the years, justice in America has become like a diluted soup and it needs to get its strength Ooh. again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I come from a world where when I was a teenager, when I was young and my peers were, we feared getting pulled over to get a ticket mm -hmm. that we would have to beg mom and dad to uh, pay for us. <laughs> Today, that fear in my soul has gone ballistic because now I can't trust. Now I can't trust a blue light. I can't trust it. It's just damaged me. It's, 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 it's hurt me. It's, it's left something in my soul that I'll never forget. And no one should live like that. Mm. No one should live like that because we work hard to accomplish parity in this country. We work hard, hard, hard. Mm -hmm. For those of you that are here, that have the ability to step into an office, for you of us, of you that are here and in the public, in the public, that have the ability to live where they want to, to have the ability to have bank accounts, to have the ability to have credit, we fought hard for that. Mm -hmm. So therefore, why is this all of a sudden gone dark? It should not be that way. It should not be that way. Thank you so much, uh, Mama Campbell. When we found out about this incident, 
the first thing that we had to do was contact you because you are most important. Yes. And we need to show the people that we will not stand for this to happen to another senior citizen in our state. And we appreciate your lawyer jumping in as soon as he got the call from your daughter because she lives thousands of miles away and could not be here with you today. But we are your family, Mama Campbell. Thank you. And we will stand by you to the end mm -hmm. with you. this. Thank you. No matter what. And now we'll have a few words from Mama Campbell's lawyer. Thank you. At some point, humanity must prevail. We can't allow our senior citizens, our mothers, our grandmothers, our sisters to be treated in this manner. In our community, every time we exercise our basic human rights, we're punished. Mm. Mm. In this particular instance, Mama, Candle, Mama Campbell exercised a basic human right, a basic legal right. She asked for a supervisor and it escalated. Mm. She asked for help and it escalated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our community is not going to tolerate that anymore. Mm -mm, no. That's right. Mm -hmm. I am here to protect Mama Campbell. Yeah. I am here to protect all of our sisters, all of our mothers, all of our grandmothers. Because Mama Campbell could have been your mother. <laughs> she could have been your grandmother. Yeah, right. Those screams that you heard, those weren't just screams of help. Those were screams of pain, mm. of anguish, of mm. a time that we believe was long gone. It brought back memories of 60s era dogs and Yes. And police Ooh, officers Jesus. yanking our brothers and sisters out of every car, out of every home, to arrest them on simple charges. Ooh, Jesus. This was nothing more than a ticket, a traffic citation. Mm. And it escalated to jail time for a grandmother with diabetes, with health issues. Not only that, the inhumanity didn't stop there. When she was transported to the jail, they didn't have her medicine. They didn't see her needs. They didn't assist her the way they should have. They failed Mama Campbell. Failed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our community will not fail Mama Campbell. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not today, not tomorrow, and not in the future. That's right. Thank you. His name. I'm sorry. Attorney Mutepe Aikman. Could you spell it, please? M-U-T-E-P-E-A-K-E-M-O-N. -E -E right. As you can see today, we are very saddened by this occasion. When I met Mama Campbell today, when I saw her today, it hurt my heart because mm -hmm. she said to me, I know you. Hmm. I've met Mama Campbell several times before, and I know Mama Campbell. Mm. So it hurt me to know that this is someone that I've hugged before. That could be in this type of predicament. Mm. And so as you can see, this is personal to all of us. Yeah, right. Because Mama Campbell is our mother, she is our grandmother, and we will not stand until justice is served to the full extent of the law to all of the police officers involved, not just the one that resigned. Mm -hmm. And don't think because he resigned today that that is the end of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he uttered the words to say that his training mm -hmm. prepared him for that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I don't know what type of training that they are doing at the Alpharetta Police Department. That's right. But we will not stand for it. No. Thank you so much for everyone coming here today. This is not the end. This is just part one. Because we are going to make sure that we stand by Mama Campbell all the way through. Thank you. Thank all the way through. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions? And we're only going to take a few. What does justice look like? What do you want to see happen to these officers? Well, there's a, there's a few things that need to happen. 
One is that they need to have the rightful charges, the rightful charges. Mm -hmm. Mama Campbell said that she just wanted an apology and that she wanted to make him, this police officer, to be an example, to make an example out of this police officer so that this doesn't happen again. When young black boys stand before a judge and they say that we are going to make an example out of you, they don't ask for an apology. They say 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. So they need, this police officer needs to be treated in that same manner. When we say make an example, we mean that you need to serve time for what you did to Mama Campbell. And not just that one police officer, but every single one that on looked this man cussing out this woman, pulling her out of the car and did not stop him. They all need to be reprimanded and put in jail for what they did to Mama Campbell. Right. State Representative uh, Erica Thomas, Maria Boynton, B103 News, Atlanta, Georgia. We're on Facebook Live right now. Uh, we, we're starting to see an uptick, seemingly, of what seemed to be incidents that were seeming to, to die down a, a tad bit, maybe. But to what do you attribute these incidents continuing to, to arise in our community? You know what? <laughs> and I hate to say this, and some might be upset that I say this, but... People say trickle down economics. And what I call it is the trickle down effect from our president. We are allowing the person at the top to degrade our people. We are allowing them to say whatever they want and to make excuses for what they are doing. And so people are seeing these things and thinking that they can get away with it under this presidency. Mm -hmm. yes. But guess what? He is not the only elected official in office. Thank you. Thank we are you. also elected yes, officials. We and we don't believe in that trickle down. Mm -hmm. We believe that if you mess with our citizens that elected us into office, that you will be persecuted at the full extent of the law. Do we have any more questions? Yes. In the resignation letter, the officer was pretty strident saying he felt like he used appropriate force. What's your response to that? Mm -hmm. <sighs> My response to that is that that is pure ignorance. Mm -hmm. Ignorance to even think that you use the proper response to a 65-year-old woman that you can hear her on the, the, the video say that, no, sir, yes, sir, no, sir, yes, sir, I will get out of the car for you now that your supervisor is here. Yes, sir, I will. And then you see her doing exactly what they told her to do, and then he runs up and tries to grab her. So what were you doing that you, what do you think a part about that that you think that you, suppo you were supposed to do? This woman, all she did was politely, she was polite and had dignity. And that same dignity, he should have shown to her. And we would not be in this predicament right now. He said that he feels unfairly judged because this video was put out before he, the incident was able to be reviewed. Um, do you think the police chief acted appropriately in proactively putting this video out? Mm -hmm. It was the police chief's decision to put that video out. It wasn't Mama Campbell's decision to put the video out. It wasn't my decision to put the video out. It was the police chief's uh, decision. So if the police chief made that decision, then he should blame the police chief for putting the video out. Video out. In terms of uh, his response, to think that that's appropriate, two things that we need to realize about this particular video. One, Mama Campbell was already detained by two other individuals. Mm -hmm. So there was no need for him to intervene. Mm -hmm. The second issue is, the first time he walked up, he immediately cursed Mama Campbell out. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, he did. Yes. She was already detained by those same two individuals. Yes. And the first thing he told her was, shut the F up. Oh, mm -hmm. yep. I don't talk to a dog like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Why would I talk to my grandmother like that? Mm -hmm. Have you heard from I'm sorry. the chief? Has he offered extended an apology, Ms. Cannon? Or has he said anything? At this time, we have heard nothing from the chief. Excuse me. And I had a question if she'd like to respond. Because I know yesterday it was earlier, or when it was made, that you necessarily didn't want to see the officer lose his job. 
based on what you would have liked to have seen happen. Just your feelings about that today as this is progressing the way it has. Let's say this. I'm a Christian woman. And as a Christian, we're supposed to offer forgiveness. Mm. Even if it has not been asked for. Because we're supposed to work on the path of peace. Yes. We're supposed to work on the path of benevolence. Mm. We're here today because there was one person that followed that path, and that was Martin Luther King. And he taught us, not only whites, blacks, Americans, but he taught the world that the path of justice is best traveled by peace. So I offered the opportunity for peace to occur in this situation. Mm -hmm. Now what people do with it, it's up to them. Okay? So, and I, I'm not going to interfere with authorities handling their business, handling their disciplinary protocols. Justice. I just wanted to be handled and dealt with correctly according to the measures of law or to the measures of policies. Mm -hmm. Simple. Mother Campbell, your family, how are they feeling after seeing you in this video? Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so hurt. <clears throat> my daughter is in California. She lives in the Bay Area. She and my grandson. And she has been in a state of tension that is unbelievable. I'm so I try to keep as quiet as possible to keep her moder moderated because she is <laughs> off the chain. She is so angry. She's so upset. She's so, and her friends and our friends and the family and folks from all over the world are contacting me. Folks I hadn't heard from for years, mm. but they've seen this. You know that tells me social media does touch home. You know and. Uh, it's, 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 it's hard for my family. It's hard for me, but it's extremely hard for her. The world is watching. What would you say to them about treating others, how to treat others? There's an old saying that says, treat others like you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line. I'd like to ask you in light of the fact that this Sunday is one of our most cherished yes. and celebrated mm -hmm. holidays. Mm -hmm. If you could put into words, to you what a mother means and what it should be to other people. <laughs> mother is like a big hen. She has her eggs, she keeps them warm, they crack open and they become chicks that she raises. That's what mothers are. We are mothers, we are the hens of the world. Mothers in every nationality and every group, mothers, are the producers of us mm. and the maintainers of us. That's what a mother is. Simple as that. And we as such deserve respect. Every human being deserves respect, but we as mothers deserve an immense amount of respect. Mm. We're going to stop the press conference because we don't, we, we want um, Mama Campbell, we know she has hypertension and so we, we want to stop it now. Um, just, you know, out of respect for, for Mama Campbell. And we thank everyone for being here today. And just know that everyone standing here today is going to fight until justice is served. Thank you. Thank you.